Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Uh, got the blinds open behind me because we just did some uh, some painting. So forgive me if the lighting isn't. See, it's kind of a little. I'm a little dark compared to the the background. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a wonderful beer that has been brewed by a wonderful company. It is called Black Oak Pale Ale. Uh, another reason why I purchased this is because I'm, you know, the more and more I'm doing reviews, I'm increasingly coming across pale ales that taste very similar to India pale ales, um, with obvious reasons, of course. Uh, one thing that's really, really interesting about this brew, and I've never seen this at another brew before, it's a, it says that it's brewed with reverse osmosis water. Now, I, I went on Wikipedia and I researched it, and it's a very, very cool uh, kind of backwards process. Um, rather than explaining it to you, I would just recommend you checking it out on Wikipedia. Uh, spare me the time on here and uh, embarrassment of trying to explain it. Uh, we've got a 340 milliliter bottle here, 341 milliliter bottle here. Uh, comes in a six pack and it is 5.0% ABV. It's a gold medal winner and it is brewed in uh, by Black Oak Brewing Company Limited in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, yeah, uh, right before I dive in, uh, first I'll show you, you know, you got your traditional uh, black oak uh, uh, cap here. I'm saying traditional because this isn't the first one I've had. Now, I found two little tidbits of information that are interesting. Uh, this is supposed to be a cross between a traditional British pale ale and, uh, and the modern American pale ale. Also, um, they use premium Canadian two-row malt, uh, three select specialty imported malts, and a lot of hops. Uh, they do not want to release those ingredients because they want to consider this a secret recipe. And judging by how great I'm expecting it to be, uh, it should be that way. So I'm going to be pouring it into my oh-so-popular use-it-all-the-time tulip glass because if this is kind of like a pale, an India pale ale, I'm going to be enjoying it that much more out of my tulip glass. I'll pop off the cap for you right here. It's funny because I've had, uh, I believe it was the, uh, it could have been nut brown ale or the brown ale, one or the other, and that smell that comes out of the of the beer came came out of the other beers. Uh, as well, and that smell that I thought I was getting was something to do with what I thought to be a, a nutty aroma. Um, here, let's check this out. Uh, it looks very much like a uh, an IPA. Uh, pale ales tend to look very much like IPAs as well. And you got a very, you know, light uh, yellowish copper tone looking color. This beer unfortunately doesn't have too much head, as you can see. Uh, there isn't a great deal of visible carbonation throughout the center, but uh, you know, let's let's give it a chance. Um, yeah, I'm kind of getting a hint of uh, floral hops in there. Uh, very interesting. I love smelling floral hops in uh, IPAs and, and PAs. Definitely a like a woody like grapefruit. Uh, type of aroma. Uh, let's go in for the kill here. Ah, oh, what a wonderful balance. You have very, very little uh, of a bitter aftertaste. I don't know if you, you taste carbonation as much as you taste that tradition, you taste that aroma that I was picking up that you can pick up in in all other types of beers. Um, it's kind of like a, like a, maybe it's a woody. I'm not sure any of this has to do with the reversed osmosis water filtration system. <clears throat> but hey, check this out. Um, it does have quite a bit of head in there. I guess I might have just poured it a little bit too carefully for you. But yeah, this is a great beer. I'm not going to say it tastes like an IPA. Um, IPAs tend to be bitter, I mean, sorry, more bitter, 
and they tend to have more of like a pungent, like perhaps grapefruit uh, taste or, or a malt aroma. This one uh, leans a little bit more towards a, a very original um, taste and a very original aroma that I can't pick out. And because of that secret recipe, it's making it very difficult. One thing that I like about it is that it is extremely refreshing. <laughs> very, very good brew. I uh, I could I could easily make this my go-to brew. A um, little bit more info on the back here. Uh, it's to be considered a traditional. Uh, hoppy pale ale. Sorry, I'm looking at an image here because it's got like an acorn on it and I'm wondering if that might have something to do with the weird taste. Who knows, I've never heard of acorns in beer. Um, it's a perfectly balanced malt with lots of hops, delivers character and flavor. Amber color? I don't know if I would have considered it an amber color at all really. It was like, usually I can tell you the difference between what it looks like on camera versus what it looks like in person. Doesn't even it doesn't look like an amber beer in person or through the camera. Uh, you got an enticing hoppy aroma, mild carbonation, which leads to a distinctive taste in a medium-bodied ale. Our pale ale has won gold medals provincially and across Canada. Cheers, Ken! Uh, brewing award-winning beer since the last millennium, and like very many brewers out there, this is one of those companies that. If you check out their website, they over and over again they they repeat um, how serious they are about about their ingredients and the perfection of the brewing process and the filtration process. It's it's not a bad website at all. Uh, give it a try. Extremely refreshing. I'm sticking with that like woody taste. It's not a bad taste. It doesn't taste like wood. It's just something in there, you know? Anyways, people, um, if I have to give this a, a rating, which I always try to, I would say that this is a nice 3.8, 3.9 out of 5 beer. Very tasty, very original. Uh, I'll show you something cool on here. You got, they made what looks like moose or deer antlers, which is actually a... Uh, leaves. In the center, which you'd think you have a head, you actually have an acorn, and above the acorn you got the Canadian flag. So this is very uh, symbolic as to how much pride it is towards being Canadian. Um, yeah. Alright, people. Thanks for joining me in another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Oh. Cheers. <laughs>